Today we're going to have a look how to create objects with AutoCAD, how to draw lines, curves, polygons, hexagon, donuts, circles, sketching freehand, etc. The aims and objective of this lesson are to gain an understanding of how to draw objects using the available commands in AutoCAD. Let's have a look at drawing single lines where we specify the coordinate points. You can just type L for line, first point 50, 50, next point 100, 50, next point 120, 50. You realize that is wrong, you can just type U for undo, 120, 80, 120, 100, 50, 100, and you can just type C to close the line. At any point, you can just right click on a line, select properties, and here you can see you can specify the properties, the line type, color, etc., the thickness, and also change its x and y values. Let's have a look at construction lines. The textbook does not tell us much about it, so let's pause it. It's basically lines that extends into infinity. We have two, the construction line and the ray line. The construction line goes into two directions and the ray line only in one direction. Why would we use them? We can use them basically to create temporary intersections to use for object snapping, prepare multiple views of the same object, Determine a center of an object. Take note that these lines does not change the total area of a drawing, has no effect on your viewports, points, or zooming. I recommend that you really use a different layer to create these X lines in. And when you plot, just hide this layer. First, we're going to go and create a new layer. You can just type layer at the command line. Click on the new layer icon. We can name it X lines, change the color, I'm going to make it yellow, set it as current, click OK. At the command line, you can just type X line. By default, you will specify two points, for example, 200, 200, through a point, for example, at 20, 200, and you can just press Enter. Let's just go have a look at the other options we have. HOR will draw a horizontal line through a specific point along the x-axis. VR, a vertical line at a specific point on the y-axis. ANG, a line through a specific angle uh, through a specific point. Bisect will bisect the selected line at an angle. Offset will draw a line at a specific distance away from a selected object. Let's say we want to draw a vertical X line. We can just type V. We can specify the point, for example, 200, 200, and just press Enter to draw the line. If you want to draw a ray line, note that ray line is semi. Infinite is only going to go in one direction. You can use your pointing device and specify it. I want to draw it from that point until that point, and you can just press enter. For now, we're just going to go and hide this layer. You can just click on the globe to turn it off. And we set the zero layer as current. A polyline is a connected sequence of line and arc segments created as a single object. Before we're going to go and draw a polyline, we can move the UCS. You can just type P line at the command prompt. You can select draw polyline, or you can just Click on the polyline icon over there in the toolbar. We're going to start at the point of 50, 50. 
next point hundred comma fifty at the moment we're just drawing straight lines hundred and twenty comma seventy now we're going to switch over to an arc just type in a and we're going to specify the end point as a hundred and twenty comma eighty we're still in arc mode and we're going to say the next point must end for this arc at 200,60. We're going to switch back to line mode. And so the line must end at 180,50 and just press enter. We've seen here once the polyline command has been selected, there's a few other options. Half width, it is from the edge to midpoint. Length of line in the direction of the cursor. The width is the width of the line. Before we're going to have a look how to draw multi lines, we're going to have a look at the multi line styles. We're going to go to Format, Multi line Style, click on New. Give it a useful name. We're going to add some lines with it. At the moment, there's only two lines. I'm going to add a line at 0.3. Can I add an additional line at 0.1? You can change any of the other properties the line type, the color, the start and the end. We're going to set it as a current, click OK. Now we're going to go to draw multi-line or you can just type M-line at the command prompt. Specify the points. And voila. Let's have a look at the multi-line options. Type M-line at the command line. ST for style. We're going to change it to standard, or you can type a question mark for a list. J for justification. And make it top. I'm going to change the scale. So make it 25. And then we can just specify the coordinates for the line. Polygons are closed polylines with between 3 and 1024 equal length sides. For this demonstration here, we have on a different layer two X lines and a circle with a radius of 40. Let's draw an inscribed hexagon. You can type polygon at the command line. Number of sides 6. I'm going to specify the center. Inscribed with a radius of 40. Inscribed is when you specify the distance between the center of a polygon and each vertex. Let's draw a circumscribed hexagon. Draw a polygon. Number of sides 6. Specify the center. C for circumscribed. Radius 40. As you can see, circumscribed polygons is where you specify the distance between the center of a polygon and the midpoint of each side. The other way we can draw a polygon is by specifying the edge. I'm going to stay with a hexagon. Type E for edge. I'm going to specify the first point and then the second point. All polylines, multilines, polygons, you can edit with a P edit command or you can explode it into individual lines. Select the object, type explode. And now you can see each line is in the. Next, we're going to look at sketching freehand.